Hi, I'm Ron Polk, designer of the Polk Workbench and the Total Station. Today I'm going to show you a quick tip in SketchUp on using the Offset tool. This weekend I received a question about using the Offset tool in SketchUp and uh, saying that the floor and the walls are not separated. And it's important to make sure they are. So I'm going to really quickly show you how to do that in SketchUp. So if I open up SketchUp, a blank file, I'm going to hit the R key for rectangle. Just grab it in the corner here. I'm going to come out, I'm going to go 24 feet, comma, 12 feet, enter. Now um, I have this surface, it's just a 2D surface, connecting lines, and so if I double click on it and right click, I'm going to make it a group, and then if I go into that group, I can then use my push-pull tool and just make it 12 inches, we can call it the floor system. And then now I want to do the wall, so you can see if I click on it, it selects everything. That's a group. To get in and edit this, I've got to get into that group and you see these dotted lines. Don't want to do that. I want to separate the walls. Now there may be many ways to do this. This is just how I do it. I'm going to hit the rectangle tool again and I know I'm not connecting it to this because this is closed up in its group container and I'm going to do the same thing again. So I've just drawn the same size and now I'm going to double click, right click, make a group. And now if I hit the move key and I go up, you can see that the rectangle I drew and the floor system are in fact separate. Had I not grouped this one first, this would have merged with that and it would have been a difficult time getting them apart. So group, group. Now I'm going to just go in here. I'm going to grab this entire, so I've opened the group. You can see the bounding lines. The other one is grayed out. It's protected. And I am going to hold the shift key to deselect the connecting surface. Then I'm going to grab the offset tool and all I'm going to do is grab the edge, come in, and I'm going to type in six for inches. And now I can come in and grab, go into that group, grab just that six inch surface, push pull to say eight feet. And now I have walls that are eight feet and a floor system is 12 inches. Let's go in here because I, uh, this area could, I may add in later for doing wood flooring or that kind of thing, but I don't need it as part of the walls. So I'm just going to hit delete. And now if you look, I can grab this and hit move and just snap it right onto the floor system. And this goes very quickly. I'm talking about it, so it slows it down quite a bit. But you can see by having groups, you can uh, continue to edit well into the future. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, if you want a set of Polk Workbench plans, total station plans, miter plans, crosscut jig plans, any of the plans I have, you can go to a link right in this video and go over to my website, um, purchase the plans, and immediately you'll get an email uh, receipt. At the bottom of the receipt, you'll find a download link. Then you can download those. And again, it's a download. It's not for viewing or whatever. You download the plans to your computer, uh, to your iPad or whatever as PDF format. And then from there, you can print them. So um, hopefully this helps. If you like these video tips, be sure to subscribe. But more importantly, share them with others. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.